Hello, today we are here to review the, uh, the Bandai SA figure arc Mandalorian. The Mandalorian Gorgu, Gorgu set from well, season 3 of Mandalorian. My, <laughs> yeah, I, I have the Mandalorian. I bought my family on Japan. And, uh, I gotta say, this guy's pretty good. But I have my issues with him, and we're gonna talk about him in today's video. So, okay, uh, Okay, so looking at the uh, figure in the light, well, he has good articulation and good scope. And I did watch. <laughs> oh yeah, this is yeah, this is one issue with my copy. His freaking hopes are not what to hold in. You gotta be very gentle with that. And I don't know why it does it, but yeah. I watched a few Japanese reviews of this guy, and uh, for what for what I from what I can translate from watching them, they talk about they they talk they talk about the scoping, the articulation, how this figure is an upgrade from the previous versions, but at the same time, how much how much his uh, limitation can be annoying, and uh, yeah. I will say, it's this part of my copy, but I, his, uh, his holster, his holster does not want to stay with me. Not want to stay in mine. And I, I honestly do not understand that. Not whatsoever, okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the thing, the thing's annoying to put on, to be honest. I'm just gonna keep it off. So we have seen three men. Is he good? Is he bad? Is he amazing or perfect? No, he's none of those. He's okay. <laughs> you already saw, you already saw his freaking holster pop up one more time. I don't know why it's my copy, but it's annoying as hell. Sorry, it's annoying as heck that that keeps happening. So how good articulation? Well, he doesn't have that lot to do. He's limited due to. Due to all of this on him, so you can't like pose him that much. Or you can pose him. You just gotta be very careful with how much you pose him. This is how far he is. This, this is, this is how far he goes to the back. Uh, yeah, his cape pretty good. He has, I get, he has the, he comes with, he comes with the dark saber. Which well uh, makes sense because this is based off his season three version. But yeah, he's so far he's okay. But uh, yeah, no, I'm gonna be honest. I hate how I know I get it. Okay, I get that. I get it that they'll try to go so show accuracy for this guy. But at the same time, it just didn't work. Because it's too much scope everywhere on him. From here to here to here, it's hindering articulation. And that's annoying. One of the figures that had the exact same issue that I didn't like. Buffalo could have been one of my favorite figures of this year. I just wasn't a big fan how much his, articula his, how much his uh, shoulder pads was. Makes up articulation. He could be one of my favorite, just I didn't like what Tamashi did with him. And I feel like the same thing could be said for the Mandalorian. And uh, that's the issue. He's not bad at anything, but that, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. I didn't like, I didn't like what Bandai did with him. His his chest is his chest is his chest is holding is holding a lot of articulation and uh, I really wish that uh, I really wish that he did it. Let's look on to accessories, shall we? Because well, he comes around a lot. Hey, by the way, this is by this is by, uh, this is the box. This is the freaking box right here. 
looks really nice. There's even like art, even like even like freaking art in here. Has the Disney Plus logo and everything. Oh, sorry, about, sorry about that. <laughs> And okay, here we are with the accessories. We have a lot to uh, go through, and what we're going to go through right now. <laughs> now, I want, I want to keep it in mind, this video is a little different, because this, this video is not like my, this video is not like my ordinary type reviews, no. I'm just gonna, I just want to get my honest opinion on how I feel about this guy. Well, here we are. So, okay, let's go on with number one, I guess. The Dark Saber. Oh my god, this looks so, oh my goodness, this looks so good. This, this, this looks so good. I love how they made the copy all of this color from the show. And it looks so good. He can hold it, yes. But this looks so good. Oh yeah, we have this jetpack too. <laughs> oh, that's fun. And we have his, uh, well, we have his uh, effects that you can put on the jetpack to make it fly. Well, I'm going to be honest with saying that I'm going to keep the jetpack off of him, actually. Because, well... I don't know, he, he looks way cooler out it, but uh, just for this, sure. Look right now, let's put the jetpack on him. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, that, you know, that, that ruined articulation of, of the cape. I can't tell you how to see me. You know, it also gave you Gorgu. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot to say this. My copy, his Grogu's ears popped off. And also, I love how we had uh, these co these copies of Grogu. His, uh, he's not like the other. He, they articulated his legs. I'm not joking. They articulated his legs, not like his ears. Let me show you. See this? Yeah, the original version of Google couldn't do this. But apparently, the, these new versions can. But I don't want to know why is there two? One, this one's for, this one's sitting next to Jing, Jingar, the other one's for his pod. Here we have, well, this rifle. <laughs> Now, I know that you can put this rifle on his back, but I'm going to be honest with you, Chief, I'm not doing that. Because I know that putting that rifle on is a pain in the butt. I see, I watched Fruish's review on season one version of Mandalorian, and uh, he's not the biggest fan of that figure. You know, he wasn't a big fan of putting the rifle on there either, so I'm just going, so I'm just going to, uh, nah, I'm just not, I'm just, I'm just going to keep it like this. I'm just gonna keep like this for now, so yeah. Cool accessory. I'm just not putting on his back. I'm not trying to lose any pieces with this guy. We have we have like a lot of, we have like a lot of pieces for his uh to put the put his uh gun on his back. Like, yeah, I'm I'm not, I'm not going to go put the gun in the back. I'm not going to lose any pieces. So forgive me for that. Oh, great. This, this thing would be a pain in the butt. Here we have two of his, well, he had two of his, his uh, late, his rockets. 
put on the jetpack right here for him so you can make him fly. And talk about this jetpack, this is actually very sculpted, very really nice. I like I like it because this is well accurate to the show. This is uh this is really good. <laughs> Granted, yeah I know. I know, I know it's good. It's not like a it's not I don't have like a lot of negative for that essentially. Now on to hands. So oh boy, on to hands. Onto his, well, yeah, onto his hand. He, got, he comes with a fucking lot, Jesus Christ. Excuse my language, but excuse my language, so sorry. Here we have his open palm hand. You can make him, you can make him, uh, hold Gorgu. Gorgu. Sorry. Here we have. It's fist in here, make him bang, bang, make him punch people. Here we have his, uh, here we have his weapon hand. You can make him hold his, uh, guns or his, well, or dark saber. You have a thumbs up hand, but uh, I'm gonna get this hands for. I'm gonna I'm get this hands for the gun. For, for the rifle. Where the hell? Sorry, too late. But this, this, this video's all over the place. This figure getting my nerves. For this, I'm gonna guess that it's for this. Okay, no problem. This figure's getting my nerves, guys. Oh, I see. This thing. <laughs> Here we have more open, open record hands. Jesus, my goodness. Why are you having so many? This, this thing. This guy comes with so many hands. That's not even funny. Here we have like three open hands to hold his weapon, his dark saber. I do. Some of these hands are so similar. Some of these hands are so funny. Look at all this. These are all the hands that he comes with. These are all the hands that he comes with. My goodness. That is annoying as heck. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Here we have, here we have the pod that you can put Gorgu, Gorgu in. Now to put the figure in, in fact, that's pretty easy. This thing is freaking cool. I'm so dumb, please forgive me. That's great. He comes with a holster that that is supposed to put together to, to hold to hold him. So like 
this. Yeah, so like So they like this pretty much. <laughs> yeah, this yeah yeah this yeah this figure this figure could have been so good. It's just feel feel like Bandai took feel, feel like Bandai did some feel like Bandai feel like for me Bandai took some of the feedback from the other past versions. And decided decided to go on with that, but at the same time they stepped back a couple like two or three times for holding this guy holding this figure back for it for his potential to be really good. And that sucks, it's kinda of, I really like Mandalorian. What what my favorite Disney Plus show? Season one and two are really that good. Not the biggest fan of season three. Just gonna be brutally honest with you, so, so yeah. And my dog did something. That's it. You gotta be very gentle with with your hands on this guy. Put your hands on this guy. It's very annoying. He can hold a dark saber and just just fell on him. Just hold the freaking sword, okay? Just hold it. Here, here with the dark saber. This thing does not want. This thing. This thing does not want to hold on. Alright. Oh, this figure got me there. Now, okay, you know what? Size comparison time. Let's just get it over. But let's just get it out of the way. My goodness. This guy's getting on my nerves. Come on, stand up. Here he is with the essay figure Tom Rider Buffer. Comparing with other Star Wars figures from the Mando first. Okay, for Sabine. With the Black Series Sabine. Here, 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 here with Ahsoka. Alright, he's standing. I want to he almost stand pretty well right next to both of them. So that's that's good to hear. Yeah, for more black seeds, Yeah, I know this figure. Not this figure could have been pretty good. He just like he. 
Best way for me to put the figure, best way for me to say like this, the figure could have been really good, really awesome, really amazing. Heck, I, I have, they have potential to be part of my top 10. It's just that, uh, how can I say it nicely? The figure lacks a lot of things for articulation, for my copy as well. Every time I put the holster back on it, it pops off every two seconds. I gotta be, you got I have to be very gentle with posing him every time I put the holster on it. That's annoying. And my copy can't even hold his freaking weapons. I feel like Tamachi did, I feel like Tamachi took one. Two step four, but two steps back. This guy, two step four, because they took the feedback criticism from the other past copies of Figure Mandalorian, but two steps forward because I felt like Tamashi was wasn't thinking straight with the articulation for this guy, and that's one of the big issues with him. The cape is not annoying in my copy. That's good. But everything else, yeah, it could be good. Just disappointing with, with how he came out and uh yeah he's okay it's a good thing I, it's a good thing that I have the black series version of season 3 Mandalorian for Book of Boba Fett on pre-order so I cannot wait for next year to review that guy and talk about how much he's actually way better than this version <laughs> But, uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. And if you guys want to like more of these type of reviews of me just talking about a figure like this way instead, like, instead of taking, like, more of a picture for the end of the videos, and, uh, yeah, comment down below. I'll do more of it. And for anyone, and for anyone that's interested in buying this guy, he's on, he's on Amazon JP, so you can buy him off there. That, that's what I bought mine at. He's not good. He's not perfect. He's not amazing. But he's... Okay, just disappointing in my opinion. But yeah, thank you, all for, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social media description. Subscribe to my channel. Try to have a lot of stuff this year. And well, if you guys help, we can do it. We come out next year's 2024. And I want, I want, to, I want to hit one. I would like to hit 1,000 this month before 2024 gets here. Yeah, guys, put the notification button, put the notification button up for my next video, which will probably be on the figure of Darth Vader, because, oh my goodness, I got a lot of good things to say about that guy, and, uh, yeah, tune in next time, guys, and, uh, I'm out, peace.